This is Peter Beckman saying. The proton pack is not a toilet. <laughs> Everybody, welcome back to the Proton Pack is Not a Toy. My name is Matt, and this is the Bankman conversion in episode 13, I believe we're on. This episode is going to be about the dry rub transfer kit from Max Factory that I just finished installing here on my wand and this one spot here on my in filter on the Proton Pack. So if you'd like to follow along in the process and see how it went, this is my first attempt doing any kind of dry rub transfers then uh, continue watching and uh, you'll see how it all went down first before i place any of the dry transfers i'll show you what you receive with the kit you get the transfers themselves and then the instruction manual that comes with all of the max factory equipment so there is enough for two packs if you are successful with all of your transfers or if you make a mistake there's an extra for each one for a redo and over here this shows you how to remove old decals and prepare the surface for your new ones and how to trim it this specifically says not to use an exacto knife but to use scissors to cut the decals out and um, that will keep it from separating from the backing. And then it says to use some tape to place them where you want them to go and then use some kind of a burnishing tool. They suggest using a dull pencil which is what I have here that I'm going to use and then um, it shows you the placement locations for each of the dry transfers. All of these are on the wand, and then the one that is on the in filter on the proton pack. There are a couple of different options depending on which pack you are using or replicating, if you are replicating one. So be sure and check your reference photos to see which of these small little icons you're going to use around your toggle switches and then you'll have your intensify and activate on your trigger box and then you get cleaning care and storage instructions as well and the hologram on the back the transfers themselves come in a plastic sleeve so you'll pull that out and then note that you have the backing paper that you need to keep behind it if you're going to be putting any pressure on these so that they do not transfer to your build surface, to your fingers, or to somewhere on your pack or your thrower, thrower where you do not want them. So be sure to keep that handy and do not throw that part away. First one I'm going to put on is the one on the in filter on my pack. It is going to be one of these four which are identical on this sheet. Uh, one of these also goes on the thrower, so you'll need two for uh, each pack. I've marked off where the in-filter label would go. Mine doesn't have one because it is a Bankman and Ghostbusters 2 Bankman does not have an in-filter label, but just to kind of give me a guide to help me keep it straight and to keep it level on uh, how high it should be so it doesn't get too far towards the middle or too low. As suggested in the instructions, I'm going to use some tape to hold it in place while I transfer graphic. And then basically I'm just going to color over the graphic part with the pencil. as you color it as it comes off the red turns more of a pink or a white color 
showing that it has come off of the carrier paper and is being placed on your equipment. If you're doing a newer pack or a GB1 pack specifically, you probably want to make sure you have 100% of it on there just right. You have more leeway for mistakes or parts of it that didn't come off where you can kind of just toss it up as weathering on a Ghostbusters 2 or an Afterlife build. I'm going to remove the tape here. Fill this down. And you can see the graphic is on there. And I'll take off the end filter label I had in place. Voila! For the wand, I went ahead and cut out one of each, and I just wanted to show real quick. This stuck to my finger when I was holding it from the corner, and uh, it's no joke. These things stick real well once they're on there. So um, just be real careful when you're cutting them, the way you're holding them. Luckily, I didn't touch any of the actual transfers so they're still good to go. I'm going to set them upside down over here so they're not actually sitting on the desk. And then I have these pre-cut and ready to place on the wand. First one I'm going to do for the wand is the same one that I used for the end filter, but there's one that goes over here next to the side discs on the same side as the Silver Danger label over here. Let me angle this so I can get my placement right. It's roughly halfway top to bottom. And then it's the uh, red line right here on the edge. Kind of comes out about as far as the line on the edge of this bevel on the knob above it. So I'm going to try to line those up generally. I'm kind of using the bottom of this danger label as a guideline to keep things straight. Same drill as before. Fill it in with a pencil. Until the red is it's not as red as it was before. Those graphics are very bright. I think the next ones I'll do will be the intensify and activate labels. That one, if you look at it closely, let's see. Got a little wonky on the end there in the middle on intensify. The e might be a little wonky on that one as well. So I'm going to redo intensify. You can see this. Scraped it off with the exacto knife and then went over it with a pencil eraser. All right, I'm much happier with that result. I think the next one I'll do is probably one of the hardest ones, in my opinion, is going to be the one right here on the edge that is the five circles. And it might involve me having to take off the bar graph light bezel there. Let's see how it turned out. So they are right on the edge. 
pretty much what I wanted. And roughly lined up top to bottom with the window of the bar graph light. There's the placement of the red triangle or arrow. This one's a little bubbled up right here, so I'm going to be careful. It's kind of hard because it's got the weld right here and then the weld right here. So there's not a whole lot of room for it to sit down flat on my particular bond. Again, I did it off camera, hopefully trying to get it just right. But actually, I used my fingernail to push down on this one instead of the pencil. I felt like I could get more steady pressure across more of the surface of it. I think that looks pretty good. Now, corresponding with that is the set of three numbers. One, two, three. It goes on here. And it can kind of go anywhere. And then I can twist it to where it goes. If you look at the Bankman, it looks like the one is either painted over or covered somehow with something. And um, I'm going to go ahead and put the one, two, three all on there. And then if I decide to cover it up or weather it off, I can do that in a later video. So I put this one on the two and the three stuck, but the one didn't. And so I had to reapply the one and try to line it up. So I might be a little too close to the two. But again, that might be one that I obscure a little bit anyway when I do the weathering process. The only two I have left are the ones that go now underneath the toggle switches and the one on the top is the one that has like a little diagonal line through it focus and the other one is the one that looks like an envelope to me it's a big x in the middle all right, guys, I got everything put on there and I'm pretty happy with the way everything looks. There's a couple of imperfections on the envelope and on activate. Um, other than that, pretty happy with the way that it turned out. And uh, this is a learning experience. If this is something that you haven't done before, like me, uh, I would suggest maybe picking one of them that you're, you know you'll have an extra one of. Maybe, like, since there's four of these, maybe grab one of those and try it on something else first that way if you do make a mistake you're not learning from your mistakes on your pack and having to remove them and redo it besides that there's not a whole lot left and i do appreciate everybody that has been keeping up with this series and um, i hope you've enjoyed and learned a little bit of something in the process and i've had a great time sharing this process along with you guys so i'll see you guys next week in the next video have a good day bye